Good evening. Hundreds of schoolies and tourists remain barred from their hotel rooms tonight after an electrical fire sent toxic smoke through a popular surface paradise nightclub and tower. More than 1,000 people were raced to safety just before a ceiling collapsed inside Shooter's nightclub. Amber Austin Wright joins us now from the Gold Coast. And Amber, it seems incredible that no one was hurt. Georgie, it really is remarkable that no one was injured during this blaze. It took crews three hours to control the fire, which caused significant damage to the popular nightclub strip. Now, police declared an emergency situation almost immediately, but that was revoked at around 7.30 this morning. Surfers paradise in lockdown. As thick black smoke and toxic fumes spilled from one of the Gold Coast's busiest night spots. The electrical fire started in the basement of the Mark Highrise Apartments just after midnight and rapidly climbed four levels. Within minutes of an electrical switchboard exploding, it then spread next door to Shooter's nightclub. Well, we were in there dancing and there was smoke everywhere. More than 1,500 people, including hundreds of schoolies, had to be evacuated. It was scary. It was scary. Yeah, we looked over the back. And there was black smoke pouring out and some electricity was sparking. Residents made a quick scramble to safety. I tried to get out. I was going to use the fire exit, but I can't use it. We could actually start inhaling the smoke and that's when we kind of panicked. Cavill Mall and Orchid Avenue were no-go zones. Smoke could still be seen hundreds of metres away on the Esplanade. This is a good example of what can happen in high-rise buildings and, uh, and they are a particularly dangerous fire. The front entry to Shooter's Nightclub has collapsed. The damage is so bad, emergency crews are amazed there were no casualties. But we're just extremely lucky that there's been no injury or deaths. The night club ceiling collapsing minutes after the last patron was out. Evacuees were given shelter and breakfast while they waited. It's been a memorable trip for schoolies. Looking forward to getting back there and having a shower. But it's likely they'll have to find alternate accommodation while crews continue to investigate. Now police have set up a hotline for anyone with concerns about last night's fire, but residents of the Mark Apartments will remain away from their homes for another night. They hope to get the all clear tomorrow. Let's hope so. Thank you. Amber Austin Wright at Surface Paradise.